Hi guys and welcome to a new dungeon run through on the alpha. This one is the mother load. I have no idea what this is or what it, what it's based on, but it seems that it's kind of like the Venture Co. Company. Um, we're going to be doing stuff here. So I'm playing Frosty K at the moment. These are my talents. Breath of Syndragos. I'm probably going to change that. Breath isn't that good. Change it to um, Hungering Room, I think. And yeah, let's go. Just use up all my procs, obliterate. Use up my um, remorseless went up a big DPS. And it should probably stun them soon with my talent. Yeah, it does. Just gonna use um, Pillar of Frost here as well and my scythe sweeps. So it seems, I think that's an unavoidable add. Use Hungry Room Weapon. Use up my Frost Scythe. Seems like so there's four bosses. There wasn't a loading screen yet, so I'm not sure what the loading screen will show, but there was nothing. I need to target something first. So it seems like there's these ads. So it's not it seems like there's a there's a big wall, like made. I don't know which zone this will be based in, but there's not a lot of zones out yet, so it could be one of the new ones which they haven't released yet. But this, this dungeon's literally come out today, and I just thought I'd make a video on it. Just kill these quickly. If you want more dungeon guides in any of the classes, then just comment, and I'll try and do more. I think we can avoid these. Just gonna pop Pillar of Frost here as well. Just stun all these guys. I gotta make sure I'm using my... um. Remorseless Winter as much as possible, because obviously it stuns as well, which is just really, really good. I need to target something first. Ah, so I think that guy's stunnable, and if you stun him, he doesn't activate the Peacekeepers. So it's, I'm, I'm not sure what dungeon it was, but there was one of the dungeons, I think it was in Draenor, the um, Grimrail Depot, where... They, there was ads which activated more ads. So this jockey, you just basically just want to stun him. Just keep stunning him so he doesn't spawn up these peacekeepers. Especially in Mythic, they'll probably hurt quite a lot. So this the mother load. Ah, so this is on Kezan, which is the old Goblin Island. It looked like it a bit. So yeah, this is on the old Goblin Island, basically. So we can probably get here either by like a ship or something like that. Let's have a look on if there's any other... Uh, they haven't added any other bits in. So it seems that this might just be the dungeon. That, um... There's only this one zone. I'm just going to pop cooldown here, just so I can do big DPS. Pop pillar. Obliterate. Just try and spin this guy. Frost scythe. Adding glass. Obliterate. So the the red like if a lot of people don't know the numbers and how they've changed, basically each ad is having like 67k. So me hitting what I'm hitting now is actually like pretty good. It may not look like a lot, especially because we don't have DPS meters, but frosty case are in a really good point you now. So that seems to be a boss. Coin operated crowd panel. Kill these quickly, stun them. Frost Scythe. So Freem's Frost, frost Scythe is hitting really, really hard on them. Oh, this is bitter. I'm just gonna. So we need to focus these guys. So this Merc's gonna be active, and the Jockey jumps in it. Aha. Uh -huh. So yeah, you just want to make sure that literally zero of these jockeys, because this one's bugged now because it it's um like once one of the mechs activated, it bugs out. Obviously, this will change when um when the dungeon comes out, and I don't know whether it will make it so that the um the mech jockeys run to another mech nearby, 
And that, like, you literally just have to focus the jockeys or it's all right because they'll keep spawning these ads. We'll have to wait and see. Cause see, at the moment, once it's activated, they just don't know where, what to do or where to stand. Ah, so this one worked correctly. That one run to an extra one. Just seems that that one's bugs. I think we might die here because the monks, the monk pulled, like, extra stuff. It's earth and fire. We'll see. We have a warrior tank, and at the moment, they're pretty okay. And we have AoE stuns, so we just got to frost siphon down. I'm going to pop Pillar of Frost, so I'm doing big damage as well. And I'll stun them again with my Remorseless Winter. As you can see, Frost DKs, especially for AoE when they take Frost Scythe, are really, really good. Oh, I'll quickly use Raise Ally and Kite. If he accepts it. I used it, bro. Yeah, I think the monk ghosts pulled. I quickly run over. Haven't got a mount on my bars, by the way, XD. But yeah, I'll quickly go over. Dodge these guys. So yeah, as you can see, like warrior tanks, pretty, pretty, um, pretty good at the moment. They dodge. He dodged like everything. He didn't die as well, which is good. Like, that, that pull should never really happen. I don't know um, why, but yeah. Just quickly kill these ads. And just kill these ads. I don't have a target. On to the next bit. Yeah, it was the um, the AI basically because uh, the monks, the monks um, storm up and fire are AI, and the AI on the alpha is really really dog shit at the moment. So his 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 storm up and fires are just leaping onto ads which are like nearby. So it's kind of like playing with a pet on aggressive in the old school way of pets work, where your pets would just be like retarded running around. So I think, yeah, this is just, this dungeon is literally just this map here. So I think we're going to have a boss here, boss here, boss here, and then boss there. So it's over that wall. But yeah, let's see. I'm not sure what any of the spells do, so we just do it as we go along. Unstable Arcana Crystal. And let's pull. So I'm going to pop a Remorseless Winter and Pillar of Frost at the start. Just going to make sure I'm using Obliterate over and over. Static Pulse, I'm not sure what this is. And uh, push, just pushes you back. Just going to do Empower Rune Weapon, so I'm doing Big Deeps and just spam Obliterates. So it seems that it's mainly range, they've just got to dodge bombs. I don't know if they'll any land, or any will land in the melee, but we'll have to wait and see. Ah, uh, so one did land in the melee. Oh, so he just shocking claw. He just does a stun in front of him. As you can see, that healer's pretty good because he dispelled me. Just quickly kill. So we have really good DPS here. Static pulse. So it seems the the only spells he does are static pulse, the bombs which he launches at melee and sometimes range. Football launcher. Yeah, football launcher seems to be the bombs. And shocking claw, which is the stun in front of him, as he's doing now in like a cone. So you just don't, tanks want to maybe aim the boss away from the raid so that they all don't have to move. But it seems at the moment he just does it in front of him, so tanks want to make sure they're moving that um, out of way. Pop Pillar of Frost and smack the boss. Static Pulse, so that's gonna, obviously going to be a stun in front of him. No, that's not, that's going to be the uh, pushback. But yeah, the boss seems pretty simple. Just that you got to dodge the football launchers, and there'll probably uh, be a bit more on higher difficulties. So obviously there's only about three or four here now. So shocking claw, move out the front. And there we go. Oh, got some hands. Did this boss work normally? Yes. Put on my new hands. Where are they? There they are. 
Do, 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 do. Now let's go on to the next bit. Seems like there's a lot of ants here, but they're not elite, so we could probably pull a lot. This is probably might be a good um might be a good dungeon to spam farm for XP because there's so many ants. And if you come in here with like loads of AoE um AoE classes, you could probably pull like a lot and just kill them all down, go out, reset, and just farm XP. So I think he's doing a big pull here. So I'm going to pop Pillar and Remorseless Winter. Just make sure all these are slowed. Dodging the bombs as well. We've just got to survive till my next Remorseless Winter. But I think this tank knows, like, because most people on the Alpha are actually good at the game. Because obviously they have Alpha. So these pulls might not be doable in, in, in like, a normal group. Because obviously people can't CC in, in normal groups. But yeah, it seems that these guys, when one of them dies, they drop bombs. So you just want to make sure, just run away. See if I can see the boss. Ah, so there's another boss. So that's, yeah, that will be Az Azeroth. So all this is just ads you can skip. So like I said, this is really good for maybe farming XP. Because you can just pull all these. Like a Frost DK, for example. Like, can literally just Remorseless Winter and a tank can just kite, kite, kite. So it seems some of them do urban shields. Obviously, you can't interrupt all of them. So just, you know, try and get as many. Try and do a mass stun or whatever. But yeah, as you see, they drop a lot of bombs. You just dodge them. It seems like they don't have a very big range. And they don't hit hard. They're about 3k. Seems he's been okay. He's pulling these as well. Pop pillar. And just stun all these ads. Something stunned me. Just stun all these guys. Pop um, rune weapon and just spam blasts. Just spam blasts with my rune weapon up. Spam scythes because I have them for free. I'm stunned again. Ah, so I think if you're in front of this um, Azurite extractor, it will um, it will stun you. So you just don't want to be in front of that. Seems it's got a lot of HP as well. Ah, so we didn't actually pull them, but um, they were saying like in Cathedral, where after a certain point, ads will auto aggro to you. So they think that that ad pack there was just an auto aggro, and that we couldn't avoid it. Ah, so it seems these, you have to run away from the quake. Just pull this guy out, so we can be guessing. I need to target something first. I think there's meant to be uh, water here, but I'm not sure. It just seems like they're fishing in air. Probably interrupt that. Still noise. Seems that the XP values are a bit off because it seems that the small ones are giving 300 XP and the big ones are giving 30. So obviously should be switched around. Just gonna stun these guys, and I'm gonna just gonna grip this guy so we can't do the quake. Kick this guy as well, so we can't do that. So it seems they're really, really scared of it. But so we're on to the next boss now, which is Az Azarok. Here now, let me see what type of boss it is. Ah, so it's like a rock mora, so it's it's like a um a big rock giant is the best way I can put it. Use free soft frost scythes. Just frost siphon to death. Frost siphon hits so so hard. Move away from the bombs. Because obviously, if you're if you're literally gonna stand here while the bombs pop, you're gonna die. Because one hits for 3k, two is gonna hit for 600. So it seems that this is a tactic, a fracking totem. 
Ah, so you just... I'm not, I have no idea what's going on. It seems that we should have, um... I, oh, I think we're gonna die now. Ah, so they all do, all do quakes. I don't know if we can heal through this. So they all do quakes, so they've got to be CC'd with them totems. So you kill two. You kill two with the totems. I mean, stun two with the totems, kill two. And then, um, yeah. So what you want to do is stun two with the totems, because obviously we had two totems. Then kill the two you haven't stunned. And then, um, and then unstun them and just focus them. So, like, the only reason we survived them quakes there was because the healer was um, was just so good because he's healing a lot. But otherwise, you want to just stun them. Obviously, on Mythic, that would just insta-kill. Like, there's no way you're surviving that. So it seems they also do fixates. Um, when it's fixated on you, it's big. When it's not, it's not. But yeah, the ads... So he spawns ads regularly. But as you can see, he's already really low. He probably doesn't have a lot of HP. I'm not even sure, like, this, this is not even a boss, he's died dead so quick. Because I don't know if it's, if he, if he, if the Earth Rages take damage, he takes damage as well. But yeah, I'm going to finish up this, um, this video here. I'm going to continue it in the next one, so make sure you like and subscribe if you want more videos. And there'll be a part two, where you can watch the other two bosses, which is Rixa, Fluxfame, and Mogul Razda.